Today, a representative from Immaculate Maculata University will be here at 9 a.m. Monday, a representative from Pennsylvania College of Technology will be here at 8, and a representative from Gettysburg College will be here at 9. Any students interested in meeting with a representative in the CRC, please sign up in Naviance. Attention juniors, a representative from Thaddeus Stevens will be in the guidance office on October 24th from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. <laughs> you and your parents are invited to attend an information session on the early enrollment opportunity available. Not only does it save you money, half the cost, but you can earn college and high school credits at the same time. Attention seniors, there's a link on the class of 2018 school group page for you to vote for your class motto. Voting will close at the end of the day on Wednesday, October 25th. If you would like a say in the class motto, please vote for your favorite. Now we're over to Clay with the news. U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson stated yesterday that he has little, he has little hope that the Qatar diplomatic crisis will be resolved soon, primarily citing that the Saudi-led and organized coalition for prolonging the issue. The crisis began in June of this year after 12 predominantly Muslim Middle Eastern and Northern African countries either completely or partially cut off ties with the nation of Qatar and, president, and presented a 13-point ultimatum. Although the Saudi-led coalition is no longer asking for, the, for adherence, adherence to the ultimatum, they are still requesting that Qatar end support for Saudi military intervention in Yemen. The U.S. And, and the Trump administration have been calling for an end to the conflict for many months, but have, yet not, but have not yet taken any steps to attain a peaceful resolution. In stranger domestic news, armadillos have begun to migrate much farther than north than usual. The armored mammals are traditionally naive, native to, to Latin America and parts of Texas and Florida, but are now being spotted in states as far north as Illinois. The reason for the migration is currently unknown. Dominant theories range from climate change to mind-controlling parasites. Today, today in history, the U.S. Senate ratified the Louisiana Purchase in 1803. Previously ranging, having belonged to the French, this area of land included a whopping 530 million acres of just for just $15 million. President Thomas Jefferson decided this was too good of an opportunity to pass up on. He purchased the land stretching from the modern-day Louisiana to around modern-day Montana. The entire Louisiana Territory? Yes, the entire territory. Also, today makes birthdays for John Krasinski, who played Jim in The Office, Snoop Dogg, and marks what would have been the rock, rock singer Tom Petty's 67th birthday. Now we're to Miss Sipel with the delicious lunch, even though it's not delicious. Today for lunch, we have... We are having macaroni and cheese with a whole grain roll, margarine, breaded chicken patty with a whole grain roll, meatball calzone, ham turkey cheese flatbread, a delicious chicken Caesar salad, stewed tomato sauce, seasoned green beans, fresh cauliflower with dip, applesauce, fresh fruit, or a slushy. Slushy. This is awkward. There are no after the sports scores today, so I guess we'll talk about the pro sports. In Major League Baseball news, the LA Dodgers won against the Chicago Cubs. Also in NFL news, the Oakland Raiders beat the Kansas City Chiefs. That should boost some fantasy points. In the NBA, the Oklahoma, Oklahoma City Thunder beat the New York Knicks. And finally, in the NHL, the, uh, uh, the Nashville Predators beat the Philadelphia Flyers. Wow. Hey, Dodgeball fans, there is still time to sign up to play in the 14th annual Effort the Dodgeball Tournament on Friday and Saturday, November 10th and 11th at the Effort the Senior High School. Proceeds from the event will help fight juvenile diabetes. You can find links and information at the registration form at EffortTheMouse.com or see Mr. Guy in the homeroom. 129 for registration information. Deadline for entry is, Wednesday, is next Wednesday, October 25th, which gives you this weekend to collect donations. <laughs> yeah, each team is responsible for raising at least $126 in donations per team with a three-game guarantee. Prizes will be awarded to teams for raising more money. More money! So get your team donations in for this year's Senior Circuit Bracket. Today, 
The football team is away at Solenko. Good luck, boys. Now back to the main desk. This is a reminder that the financial aid night is quickly approaching on Wednesday, October 25th at 6.30 p.m. in the high school auditorium. Remind your parents, this is this collaborative effort with the Pennsylvania Higher Education Assistance Agency will clarify the financial aid process and provide annual updates to the FAFSA application process. Now over to Clay with Chalk Talk. Oh, chalk Talk's not happening. Oh. What? So, uh, that's, that's it for us today. Have a great day. Have a great day. Have a chaltastic day. <laughs> <laughs> Why wasn't it happening?